President Trump telling the left-wing national media what he thinks of them at his rally in Pennsylvania tonight. But they can make anything bad because they are the fake, fake, disgusting news. And here to discuss, Dr. Sebastian Gorka, Fox Business National Security Strategist, former strategist to President Trump, author of the upcoming book, Why We Fight, Recovering America's Will to Win. I am, I, I am surrounded by august authors, uh, and we wish you, you guys are in some sort of contest here. And, uh, and so far, we're going to have to give the uh, first two points to, uh, to Judge Janine and to Greg Jarrett. Uh, you're up next, Dr. Gorka. Uh, when does your book come out? Uh, it comes out at the beginning of October. Uh, never and too I appreciate you. Never too early to start hawking these books. Just ask Greg I, Jarrett. Oh, I, I had to. I had to give Sean Spicer, Judge Janine, and Greg their, their due space. But I appreciate the plug, and I think we have to start calling this the Lou Dobbs Book Hour. Well, you can call it what you want, just so you watch it. Uh, it, it's the, uh, the fact of the matter is, this president was in great form tonight. I haven't seen yes. it ever be anything less uh, in one of these rallies. I mean, he was taking it to the uh, taking it to the enemy or enemies, if you prefer. Uh, I, I love the fact that this president is saying it straight up. He wants Lou Barletta in the United States Senate. He's put it on the line. Barletta right now is 16 points down. This president didn't hesitate to support him in the primaries and keep driving, and you know he will be pushing his candidacy throughout. No backup whatsoever in this president. When I was in the White House, I said he needs to be doing one Thank of these friend. at least once a week. Now he's doing them multiple times a week. This is what made him the 45th president of the United States. He was so on form today, especially when he went, he went off uh, the, the teleprompter. And, and he's so in touch with the audience, that moment where somebody in front of him clearly was feeling unwell, and he said, OK, are you OK? Can we get a help? And, and make sure you come back in. Th this is the man who connects with the people. It's, politics today, yeah. Lou, is about authenticity. It's not just about party programs and platforms, you really have to connect with that. explains the success of Mitch McConnell and Paul Ryan, that authenticity. <laughs> let, me, let me turn to, uh, if I may, Russia. And the president yes. ordering his uh, national security team, uh, led by national security advisor John Bolton, into the briefing uh, to talk about electoral integrity, uh, securing yes. our elections, uh, and uh, going uh, after, if you will, the Russians. Uh, that, you know, I love that look to see that formidable national security team standing up there reminding every American that this administration means business when it comes to the national security issues. Can, can you have a better team? So you've got the president as the commander in chief. You've got John Bolton, his, his national security advisor. You've got Jim Mattis as his secretary of defense. You've got Pompeo at state. It, re it really is the, the best bench you can imagine. But, but today's rally was very important with regards to Russia. What did the president say at the rally? He said two things that aren't contradictory, but really describe his policy towards Moscow. Of course, it would be good to have better relations with Moscow. But, but Vladimir Putin mm -hmm. can't be happy with the things I've done in the last year and a half. And that's the reality. It's a geostrategic country, 11 time zones, nuclear weapons, right. UN Security Council mandate. But at the end of the day, they're a troublemaker. And this guy's a former KGB colonel. So that's why we're sending missiles, yeah. anti-tank missiles to Kiev. We're not sending them blankets like Obama did. Yeah, well, sending the, uh, the uh, Ukrainians blankets rather than... Uh, Lethal and socks. weapons with which and to socks. defend. I'm sorry? And socks. Don't forget the socks. Blankets yeah, well, and socks. Well, uh, you know, the idea that uh, uh, this president can be even compared to his predecessor, uh, it, you know, it is absurd because he's already done in a year and a half more than uh, Obama accomplished in eight years. And frankly, what little he did do was in the wrong direction for the wrong interests yes. and values, and most of which, most of that, which this president has also taken time to reverse. Dr. Sebastian Gorka, thanks for being with us. We appreciate it. Good to see you. Thank and you, And good Luke. luck with the Thank book. You. Yes, we'll flog it even before it comes out.